Hey there guys, Echo Master here. It's Sunday morning, so you know what time it is. It is time to do some more case files. And this week we're taking a look, of course, at Titanfall. Now, let's get into this. Basically what Titanfall is, is an FPS soup cipher grenade. <laughs> that was my own stupidity. And it had been so long since I had played this game that uh, I forgot the controls. Anyways. Titanfall, it is an FPS game with mechs. That's basically it. You have two teams, and you know, red versus blue, etc., etc. You have. And I completed a challenge. Boy, I'm just gonna do all sorts of fun stuff in this video, aren't I? Anyways, including. Include dying. Include dying in my. Not things that I get to do. Anyways, what is this game about? Basically, you. It, it's an FPS game, and there's different modes, and. I know, I'm, I'm kind of using the cop-out reason because it's very simplistic and etc, etc, you know, it, it, basically here, here's what you can do, you as a pilot get to fight other pilots, in this case it's a, a I prefer the artrician, where you are getting a points and the first one to 300 wins. Now, the there are other modes like capture flag and some others, but I prefer the the artrician and getting my 300 points and moving on. To me, it's just more entertaining. It's more fun. Anyways, there isn't really I know there's story to it, but I haven't really delved into the story of it, the lore of the game. I just saw an awesome FPS game that I wanted to jump in and play. And essentially, that's what I did, is I got the game, I got into the beta, I played the beta for a little bit, I was enjoying it immensely. It was, like, I was loving it. Mainly because I played Battlefield 4, and that is the extent of my multiplayer uh, FPS as far as it goes. All my other ones tend to be, you know, single player FPS and not multiplayer FPS. My, best in multiplayer FPS is, of course, as I said, Battlefield 4, so I'm coming from that kind of angle. With that being said, I, I immensely enjoyed the beta because these games were quick. They did not take very long to do, they did not take very long to get through or get into. It was very, very easy, very quick, and I enjoyed it a lot. And... So I got the game and I played it for a little bit. Of course, we had Titanfall Tuesday going, but I'm pretty sure those videos kind of highlight my frustration. Now, in this, obviously, as you see, I think I leveled at the very beginning of this. I am not very high level. That's because very, very early on in the game, the main problem that this game had was balance issues. Imbalance in the sense that to to coin to pull from a major uh, PvP type game, let's pull from World of Warcraft. I know it, it it seems like I always go to that well, but it's probably one of the best ones to pull a uh, a, a PvP aspect from. With the issues that I had with this game, stem from that. As in, the matchmaking in this game was and is still kind of bad. And that is where the major and main problems come from. If you look at what this game di did early on, very, very early on, and it, it did a lot of bad stuff early on. I, I'm trying to get my right, get the right words for this. Alright, to pull from World of Warcraft, it would be akin to signing up to a level 15 Warsong Gulch. Or signing up to Warsong Gulch at level 15, and then the next thing you know, you're the opposite team, whether it's Horde or Alliance, doesn't matter, the, the other team has three level 90s. That's what it was akin to. You were, it was akin to that happening because that's what would happen. That's the other issue that would happen. It's connection issues. I have actually fantastic internet connection. The 
describe some of the some of the things that I've had to go through. But I have terrible internet connection when playing this game, and only this game. No other game do I really have uh, latency issues that I've had in this. I've had multiple latency issues with this game. I've had multiple matchmaking issues with this game, which is you go. I go into a game, and next thing you know, half half the other team is high level, and I'm not. It just makes for a very, very uh, crappy experience in the end. And I wish I could say there were better things about it. It's a fun game to play, and I kind of got back into it after being away from it for so long. But the matchmaking issues that are still within it, the latency issues that are still within it, it makes somebody who is trying to level up very, making it very, very hard to do so. And in that, it takes a lot for me to actually kind of get into the game. Because after a while, I just start getting frustrated. And I just, I don't want to deal with it. I mean, why, why would I want to? Why should I? Because all the guys that I'm facing up against are uh, much better at this game than I have. I've been able to put more time into it. It's not really my fault that I, you know, it, it is and it isn't. It's not my fault that I'm going up against guys who can put more time into it. It's my fault that I can't put more time into it. But I should be able to not, I should be able to group up with people that are around my level and not be, and not be forced into guys who have like the high end sniper rifle that you, the best sniper rifle you can get in the game and are shooting me from halfway across the map. That's really not all that fair. It's, it's a fun game, it's definitely interesting, but honestly there's a lot of other stuff that, that was very, very disappointing. The biggest thing is, and it just kind of started here, I, I, I'm level 13 in this video. I think I got up to level 14, 15 or 16 by the end, but they just started and when I came back is when I, I saw this, they were allowing you to slightly customize your your titans the fact that you can name your character name your titan they also let you put like a little symbol on it now it's not battlefield 4 symbols which are pretty much anything you can think of in fact uh the brony and me put out has a rainbow dash for my 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 emblem in battlefield 4 that being said you can only use the symbols that are in game which I think is a little restricting because why should I be restricted to using those? I should be able to make like an all-white Titan and name it the Ecto-1T. And that would be freaking awesome. See, here are the, the, the insignias. And there was nothing really I could do, so I just went with the 13 because that's, you know, my favorite number, etc. But you can't really customize it. If you look at all, all the people... And we're there, 46, 50, 23, and here I am at level 13. I also don't like that you can't really customize the look of your characters. You can't do that in Battlefield 4, and you can't really do that in here. But if you're given a, a choice between, you know, gender, you should at least be able to get a choice between, uh, you know, you should at least be able to customize your look otherwise. Uh, also, when you're in the lobby... That's another thing, as you saw, I was trying to figure out my burn cards and what happens. I get started into a game, which is great, but not really giving me the time to start, you know, what I need to. Not giving me the time to actually get prepared for the game. And it just ends up, you know, kind of like, well, now I only have two burn cards. And whether or not I actually use them is another story, but it's... There's a lot of things that I, I sit here and I go, I have fun playing, but at the same time, I'm just not, there, there's some of it that just it pushes me away. And part of that being the fact that, you know, you can only customize so much. You can only, uh, the matchmaking isn't all that good. Uh, you know, there, there's no... The, t the timing in the game can be very bad. The latency issues. I mean, the smart pistol like here that I'm using is one of the coolest weapons in the game. But it takes like three lock to kill a pilot. 
In the meantime, I can get jump kicked in the face and die. Not like, not like, and, and that's a one shot. It, jump kick is typically a one shot. And I just, I don't get how a, a jump kick can do that. I, I don't get how, you know, I can go running across the map and get stuck because I decide to, the game decides to start disconnecting me. It's just, there's just so much with it. And it comes down to the fact that it's, you know, it's a title put out by EA. And they, they don't really listen to their fan base all too well. I mean, you get this ability where you're cloaked, but they're not really cloaked. They can they can see you. It, it, there is a... Like, you, you are able to be seen. But, as you can see, this guy is just trying to jump kick me in the face while I'm trying to kill him. And it's just... I can understand, you know, waiting for the Titans and everything, but there were times that I played this that I wasn't even calling the Titan because I was just trying to shoot people because, to be honest, that just seemed to be more fun than riding around in the mech. And the, and the mechs are fun, but, you know, it, it's also, to me, it just seems a little confusing. You don't get, you know, you don't start with all these awesome weapons, and the weapons that you do get aren't very... There aren't very many options to them, and again, when you're up against somebody who has better weaponry than you do, you you just stand absolutely no chance. Uh, and to me, that just it, that doesn't make for a fun experience because I am trying to go up against something that is way someone who is way more geared, way more prepared for this game than I am. And again, to you for the Warcraft, it would be like it's akin to being on a PvP server. You're leveling your character, and a level 90 comes up and just comes you in the mix. That is kind of what it's like. And you just can't do anything about it, because that is what it's like. That's what it's all about. So, I don't, I don't really... Again, this is another one where there's fun aspects to it. Unfortunately, I don't know the, the whole story of the game. I, I didn't really research into it. I didn't really play it for long to find out what the, the full story was, but I I enjoyed the game for what little bit of it is. But the problem is, is I can only enjoy it for a few, you know, like uh, an hour or so, maybe a couple of days, and then I'm ready to to uninstall it and maybe come back in a few months and see if anything has changed. It's one of those games to me, and I like FPS games, and I played FPS games, but there are some FPS games, some like this, like Titanfall. It just kind of, it doesn't leave a bad taste in my mouth, but it doesn't really give me, there isn't really much, much there for me, because somebody who is as low level as I am, I'm just not getting any kind of, uh, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? You know, I just I'm getting pushback from the game because of the way the way because of the way the game operates. And when you have, as I said, high levels all over the place, it just makes the game harder to level up through. When you can't even do, oh, okay, so you have this mission to kill five pilots with your smart pistol in order to upgrade your smart pistol. Well, I can't kill five pilots because every time I find five pilots or I, I'm not the hunt for pilots, I get shot in the face from halfway across the map. Or I get titan punched or stepped on. And it just makes the game harder to actually uh, to actually do. And it, to me, it just kind of, it's like, alright, well, okay. I guess we'll, we'll leave and we'll come back and fight another day. I mean, I like it that the game, the matches are quick. That is great. I love the the sci-fi and the mechs and everything and, and all of that. It's, it's, and it's fun to play. And But as fun as it is to play, there is a lot of... A lot of uh, things that just leave... That are left to be desired. And that big one being, if they had given us the ability to actually... Um, customize our, our characters and the titans, then it could have been a fan, an amazing game. And that would have been, the fact that you could have done that would have been great. 
That would have been probably the best thing that you could possibly do in this game. And I just feel it, it was left short. And it looks like I was the sole survivor. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that's about all I have on this for this week. We will be back next week again as I disconnect from the server. Look at all the 250s, the 24, and 18. The lowest person was a 3. And then a 46. Ah. That's all I have this week for this for case files. We'll be back next week with another episode. So until then, I will see you guys next time.